Bak er mit tak, jeg pipte la laka. Da går sig i prik, der kæder. Jeg må tro hæfter, jeg tjar. Så jeg var gønne i matchakke. Jeg sagde, som du kan sige, at jeg var gønne helt hård. Når jeg er et kukukke, når jeg skal mazze. Jeg kan hæl, du kan sige, at jeg var gønne helt hård. Når jeg er et kukukke, når jeg skal mazze. Jeg kan hæl, du kan sige, at jeg var gønne helt hård. Jeg kan hæl, du kan sige, i marchach e ki matue ki e okans la o ma ke a ka pene wa ho ki ma ke a piko cha wo i cha o gana wa hiena cha the relatives our IRA representative isn't here but I'll speak on behalf of our our traditional side my name is Hala Hornbear Hala Hornbear was the son of Iron Shell, who was the first signer of the 1868 Treaty. We do have relatives here that are from the Iron Shell family. There's a staff here and a headdress here in front of the podium from the Iron Shell family. We understand what this treaty did not do for us. At our St. Francis Indian School, we conducted a class, a treaty class, to ensure that the youth are aware of what their responsibility is going to be in the future, that they're going to have to stand on this treaty. But they have questions. Where is the peace that it talks about in Article 1? Why is it the Black Hills ours when you talk about it in Article 2? Where is our land? Why do we have this reservation? Where is our land? Where is the education in Article 7? We go through these articles one by one. We talk to the students about them. Where are they today? They're confused. They continue to ask questions. But we're going to continue to talk about it. We're going to continue to teach it to our youth. Because this is something our great-grandfathers knew. That we had to lay down our arms and to accept this if we wanted to live, to continue to live on. Because the dominant society came to this continent with a way of life that was based on the theory of one Greek philosopher who took that stone that we use in our purification ceremony. And he says, this is a rock. All it does is it exists. It does nothing. It's not even alive. And then he takes the plant. The plant is higher than the rock because the plant has roots that burrow into the earth to draw nourishment, so therefore it has life. It is higher than the rock. Then he takes our buffalo, our omakashkoyate, and calls them an animal. They exist like the rock. They have life like the plant, but they have one thing more. They have legs, four legs, six legs, eight legs, a hundred legs, centipede, wings to fly. So they are higher than the other two. And then he takes man. Man exists, I am here. Man has life. Man can move. But man has one thing more, the ability to reason and therefore to think, and therefore he may dominate all of this rest. They came to this continent with that way of life of domination, and this is what they had done, to try to break our sacred circle, our sacred hoop, but we are still here. And 
and we're going to continue to be here. Many understand us now. We have many friends who acknowledge these ways of life. But the challenge is immense because of what goes on in a system they created that controls them. They can't control it any longer. And therefore, we are the ones through this treaty that will continue to struggle, to survive. We should uh, ask them why they aren't here. I heard the first opening lines. Where are they? If they continue to want to diminish us, and to destroy, destroy us. At least one thing we can push for. It took eight steps to form the Rosebud Reservation that I talk about to my students. The first step was this 1868 treaty. The second step was the 1877 Black Hills to punish us for what we did to Custer. The third step, the Dow's Act, the Allotment Act. The fourth step, 11.4 million acres they took to reduce us to our reservations. But they weren't happy there. On the Rosebud, we had the Homestead Acts the Gregory County, the Tripp County, Millet County, reducing us even further. And the eighth step is our IRA. Where is our ninth step? We must teach our children to go forward to that ninth step, to make that full circle come back and reclaim our sovereignty as to who we are. And if they want to commit, continue to, to kill us off, give us back our black hills and let us die in dignity. Thank you, Chief Hollow Hardgar. Don't forget now we're gonna have a communal lunch about 12.35. So